Julia, what you doing? Making a makeshift skirting table. What's that? It is a table, well, just a surface that allows us to get the alpaca fleeces ready for the milk for processing. So what do you have to do f to skirt the fleece? So you spread it out. Um, we're only going to send the, the first cut, the prime cut, the portion that's on the back of the animal off the mill. Um, before you send it out, you spread it out and pick out any imperfections or any inconsistencies throughout the fleece. Hay. Hay, um, dung, yeah. pieces of grass. Um, Bugs. Leftover grain that they didn't eat. Yeah. That shouldn't be too bad, though. Alpacas aren't that dirty, are they? Uh, ours like to roll around in the dirt a lot, so <laughs> um, this, this should be nice. You should be able to, like, shake this and get a lot of it to fall through the openings okay. onto the ground. What else do you have to do? Take out any portions of fiber that do not match the consistency of the overall blanket. So anything that's a different color, anything that's a different length, that crimps differently should probably be pulled out and discarded. Okay. Is this going to be a big undertaking? No, I think 15 minutes a, uh, a flea should be fine. Oh, that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll, we will see what that looks like. Yeah. Whose blanket is this? The firecrackers. We actually thought hers would be a little bit less and a little coarser because she was pregnant, but it's still pretty thick and soft. Yeah, pretty nice. So that probably means that it will be even better next year, right? We hope so. As they age, it becomes coarser, but she won't be pregnant, so that should help. And she's turning six on the 4th of July. Yeah. So are you right now doing the skirting? Starting to. Okay. It feels very nice. Yeah, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. It looks like it has good crimp too, right? Like the waves in it. Is that the crimp? Uh, yeah, the lightning bolt shape. So I'm actually going to take a sample out of a couple of areas. This is what her fiber looks like. You can see there's a little bit of a zigzag going through. And that's the crimp. Nice. Let's see how long it is. Oops. Like she grew just under four inches, three and three quarters inches. So why are you saving samples? I'm going to save samples of the fiber for all of the girls for every year that we have them. So that when we eventually sell one or more animals, when folks come to us expressing interest in an animal, they can see what the fleece looks like year over year and get a better sense than what's on the animal at, the give, at any given time. Sure. Here's another good example of the crimp right here. Oh so yeah, that. that's really pretty. Yeah. So I'm taking samples from a few different spots. And sure. I'm looking for consistency in length and color. Well, the 90s are back, so these girls are on trend. Not too bad. Yeah, it is just a little longer. Three and three quarters to four inches all the way around. Not bad. So that's Miss Firecracker for this year. Oh, so Clementine, even though she's her youngest, she did get, it looks like, four plus inches yeah. of fiber. So longer than Firecrackers. But she's a smaller animal. So. Oh, and it's interesting, too, to see the difference in the color. 
yeah. next to each other because often in the field, it's hard to tell them apart from a distance, but they're not the same color. No, Clementine is much lighter. Much lighter. She has some, like, almost fawn-colored little tiny spots on her, almost like a birthmark. Yeah. Um, but Firecracker is a much darker brown, and I feel like Firecracker has a slight red to her right. to her brown which is fitting whose blanket is this clementine all right it's actually in great shape well she's the youngest so should hers be finer than um, the others yes it should but what i mean is that there's a lot less vegetable matter and stuff to pick out of her blanket oh than this firecrackers and i'm really glad for that because i think i spent an hour on firecrackers so much for 15 minutes huh yeah um, I don't really know what I'm doing on New Year's. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you could spend 12 hours skirting a fleece, um, but it does have to be enough that the mill doesn't reject your fleece because it's so filthy that it'll gum up their machinery. Yeah, we don't want that. Would they send it back to us and be like, try again? They'd send it back to us and we'd have to pay for the return fee and post it both ways. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. She has a nice crimp, it looks like. Very nice crimp. So this is the butt area next okay. up there. So really what you want to... Oh, there it is. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, that's a lot of hay. Mm-hmm. So just kind of take a lot of that off as best you can. And otherwise, check it out. This isn't too bad. These are big pieces of hay that are easy to pick out without pulling the fiber away. Firecracker had a bunch of little tiny pieces of I don't know what, like glued to the fiber. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty gross. There's the whole, oh man. <laughs> it's just the, the neck area. Yeah. Well, we knew that the neck area tended to collect stuff and it can get a little mm -hmm. matted there because of that. Mm -hmm. And ideally, they won't be eating from above themselves once we build them a feeder yeah. for the pasture. Because that's where some of that comes from. Yeah. Hey. hey, quit rolling in so much stuff. He has to clean that out. All right, skirting day two because our girls love to roll around in hay. So it took longer than we thought. Um, whose blanket is this? This is Theodorus. It looks really nice. I'll pull out my samples now. You can see the crimp in her. Oh, yeah. That's nice crimp. Let's see. How long is this? About four inches. About four. That's comparable to Clementine. Yep. Four inches. Nice job, girls. So you're just going to keep picking out vegetable matter. Um, I try to identify fleece fibers that are not conforming to the rest of the fleece. We'll throw those out. <laughs> so it's going to be about 100 degrees today. The girls are probably so happy to not be wearing this huge blanket on their backs. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so that's Theodora. We'll work on getting her blanket cleaned up and that just leaves Moira, which is about 10 pounds of fleece all on her own. Theo's fleece has lots of stuff stuck in it, but look how pretty that color variation is. There's the light brown, 
a little bit of gray. She has a dark stripe down the back of her neck and then the dark brown towards the outside. She's a really pretty girl. She's our one with the socks, the white socks. Looking good. Still working on cleaning. So here's Moira's fleece. It looks like a big fluffy cloud. And it looks like he's already taken out some samples about about four inches. Look how nice that crimp is. Alright, the last blanket. Whose is this? Moira. Any thoughts? A lot of dried spit in here. Gee. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> So hers is the biggest. Is it the dirtiest? Uh, tough to tell. I don't think so. I think firecrackers might have actually been the dirtiest. That's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah. Now Moira was a little wet when we sheared her because we didn't put the pool away before shearing day. Is that coming through at all or did it dry nicely? It's still a little wet. Oh. Or it was when I pulled it out. I think it's mostly dry now. Okay, that's good. But no damage or anything? No. Perfect. All right, well, hopefully we're done soon, and then we can send them off to the mill and get back yarn.